good day everyone I'm just um, at the moment sorting out the computer just trying to um, have a look to see where I am so I can see your comments can't see anything ah there we go so let's bring that up and then I just Good day, everyone. There I am. <laughs> no, we don't want the echo. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, welcome to Babsy's Card Making and Crafting. Um, I'm Babsy, and um, I come from a little village called Dean's Hanger near the edges of Milton Keynes and Northampton here in the UK, and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Thank you for joining me today. Um, it's been a fun time with this stamp set nothing's better then I've really enjoyed this one um, and I thought I'd do a little bit of a switch on the cards that I have brought to you today I am using the um, stamping up notelets and envelopes and so often these are used just as um, a little notelet that you stamp on and um, just send very simply with a note or just little um, stamped image on or even a layer of card behind um, but just a very simple card and I wanted to focus on them because they are such good value for money um, they are six pound fifty and you get twenty cards and envelopes in the pack that's real good value for money yes they're tiny but I just want they're smaller than the average card but I just wanted to bring to you this week how versatile they are and they can be used just in the way that we use our normal c6 cards so these are the ones we did on Monday evening this one um, just took a straightforward card cut the top bit in half created um, a square with a layer on top and the this was um, crumb cake and then we just stamped an image all over it um, put a sentiment in the middle of the square and hey presto it's a beautiful card it's a card that you normally see in a c6 in a in a what we would have as five and seven eighths and four and one eight but I just wanted to show that you can do exactly the same with your little notelets. And they are so sweet, so sweet indeed. This is, a, a, again, a fairly straightforward one. Stamped image behind. And it's the die cut that makes the focal. This could be any die cut that you have in your sash. And, and just put the greeting on. And there's lots of other things you can do with this. You can put two this one's up on dimensionals but you could put a smaller sentiment inside you could have this as one color and another sent another die cut with a um, sentiment on in another color and have them balance the colors in the background as well there's lots of things you can do as i say don't just look at these cards as um just notelets they're called notelet cards but you can do so much more with them and this is a little um this was a, <laughs> an inspirational moment last last week. This is a little card. Um, today's plan, consume. Well, what is in the coffee? What is in your cups? Coffee and chocolate. But it doesn't stop there. When you open it up, enjoy the little things. And I've put a little um, pocket there that you can put a card this is a national trust card but it's supposed to be a Costa coffee card <laughs> my husband's got my Costa coffee card <laughs> but that is just so easy to do it's just um, again a piece of cardstock just cut to the right size and you put a tiny little bit of glue all the way around you use an oval there or a little um, you could even just put a little um, hole there if you wanted to and then you just pop your ribbon around your card and then just make a knot or a bow at the top it's just as simple as that so so simple but again using your note cards right well i've got something different for you today 
um, stepping it up again. With this one, I have had to take just a very thin slither off the side of the card simply because I have put dimensionals on the front of the card and um, they are a snug fit as it is and I just thought with the dimensionals it might make it um, a little bit difficult to get in and out so I've just taken the tiniest slither off I just opened them up just put put that on my trim and just taken that slither off so this again this is a two for one although I haven't made the second card all I've done is taken a small layer, stamped it all over with the image of the cups and the infill. This is a stamp as well. Um, stamped it all over on a piece. Cut this out with the um, rectangle, stitched rectangle dies. And then cut the inner piece in out as well. So it leaves a hole. And then I've just stamped, today is a coffee kind of day. And this is one of the die cuts that you get in the um, set. So there's all your die cuts. You've got a lovely one there, love you more than. So if you love your coffee, you can say to your partner or um, your husband, I love you more than coffee or cake or chocolate or coffee or, you know um cookies um and the two for one is this bit that you cut you bring out you cut out because if i turn that around the right way <laughs> you could layer this perhaps and what i've used here is bumblebee and cinnamon cider and crumb cake well you could layer this with any of these just a tiny bit bigger than what this is and then layer it on the card you can have sentiments at the bottom and then you can you know or um yes on the bottom or on the side and then you can introduce some ribbon the ideas are endless but you've got two for one just out of one two two cards and one piece of paper and obviously all just your sentiments you could have it across here, you could have it up in the corner here and then put another something different here. There's lots and lots of different um, ideas that you can do with that one. But I just thought that was just something a little bit different um, to do with the note cards. So there we go. And this is rather an exciting one. We've held, held on to this one for weeks and weeks. Joe and myself had a lovely crafty day um a few weeks ago now um and uh we had some other bits to do we had a challenge to do and once we got that we had a an, another couple of hours to fill and um joe said to me well i'd like to get to grips with um shaker cards she said i've never done one i wanted to do one and i said well the only ones i've done of of always stuck in the side no matter what i've used it's all these um sparkly bits have all got stuck in the side so it never shakes anymore so um she did a bit of googling on the internet and she found this one and it is so so simple really so simple and they never get stuck i have to say though that the products i've used before were not the best products i mean i wasn't using stamping up um dimensionals and i wasn't using um their double-sided tape and things like that so i think um to you know sort of say it straight that that um stamping up are the best and um their products are absolutely a1 and i was trying to do it with cheap products and it just didn't work so but this is a so easy way to, to make it so let's put this one aside we're not going to make this is obviously a full size card but again we're going to do it as a note card so what we've got here is this is a let me get this out of the way because this is going to be distracting so this is your note card and all i've done is take a layer just like the other one cut out a layer and then cut out a square in the middle now that this aperture can be anything it can be as big as anything that you want as long as you've got an edge around the side um, a decent size edge you can't cut it right to the right to the edge but as long as there's a decent edge on the side um, I've gone for a square because I quite like the square in the one I had before 
and then it's obviously got to fit on your card. So what I've done is I've just laid it down where I want it to be and I've just made um, a couple of little pencil marks just to give me an idea of where this layer will end up so I can do some stamping in here. And this is the area that we are going to use as the shaker card. So what I propose to do is to have the saying, today's plan consume... And then I've got some chocolates in the... St Oops! Good job that wasn't inked. Some chocolates there. So I'm going to put some chocolates on there. And um, can't make up my mind whether I'm going to colour them in or not. Maybe I will. We'll, we'll see. Um, so the chocolates will have in soft suede. And this is just an outline um for those um they do have an inner but i'm going to color mine because i want to um add another color in and um yes what am i going to do for the sentiment so soft suede for the chocolate and my sentiment let's have cinnamon cider just to be different so we have a little bit different so I want my sentence to come up here. So I'm trying to I'll open the card out so it's not so it's not too difficult. Now these are photopolymer stamps, so you will need a um cushion because there's nothing here. The red rubber ones, the um Oh <laughs> I've got that block again what they call the red rubber ones have got a cushion underneath so it's easier to stamp on a flat surface but these don't so they need a little bit of cushion oh hello joe that's nice of you to join me so the sentiment we said was going to be in cinnamon cider so ink that up and i've got a little bit of scrap here that i'm going to put on top move that out of the way so it doesn't get all full of um rubbish right let's see so if i straighten my card on the grid and then hopefully my lines are straight let's plonk this one in the middle i think today's plan consume that's nice and plain i like that yeah that's good just get my shimmy whoa Everything's falling off. There we go. Let's clean that one. Cling stamps. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> right, so the chocolate is going to be in soft suede. So we'll have the chocolates underneath the sentiment. Let's just give that a stamp. Yeah, beautiful. So we'll have the chocolates just underneath the sentiment. And I can see now the sentiment wasn't in the middle, but that, um, that doesn't matter. Because you're going to have the, all the beads all over the place, so it really doesn't matter. So that's that. Let's close that before I get my fingers into it. Right. So... Let's get this away. I think that's all the stamping we need to do for the moment. We have got some more to do in a moment, but that will be fine. Um, so that's the aperture that's going on the top. And there's the images. Now, the, um, the interesting thing. Oh, I know what we can do before we will keep the suspense a little bit longer. I have already... Um, stamped and die cut these little chaps and i will have to bring that mat back in um because i wanted to color them and um i have actually got an infill stamp here so we're going to have a go at doing the infill so we'll have one in bumblebee one in Plum cake and the other in 
cinnamon cider. So here we go. Lightest one first. So that is the bumblebee. I'll just take this right over the stamp because it's photopolymer, you see. You can see straight through it and get it more or less over the cup. Of course, the sensiblest thing to do would have been to do it before I cut them out. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so this one is cinnamon cider. And I'm doing it this way round because it's light to dark. So I'm not, um, I'm not harming my ink pads at all. If I had a real dark colour and a real light colour, I would um, clean them off in between. But this is, oh, I should have done the crumb cake first. Never mind, never mind. I've stamped that off, so that's fine. It'll be fine. It's slightly lighter than the cinnamon cider. I keep forgetting that. I always think it's darker than than the crumb cake, but crumb cake is lighter than the cinnamon cider. So again, just focusing on where that stamp is going. Oh, some bubbles on that one. There we go. That's not too bad. Yep, yeah, that's good. That's a good coverage. I like that. So there we go. Just put those aside. So just put that up the back, close these up because I will get my fingers in them. There we go. And I'll just give those stamps a rub. Let's get most of the ink off and then I'll do them again later. But as long as most of them are clean, that'll be fine. Right. Now to the interesting bit. So we've got our card, we've got our stamps, we've stamped our coffee cups. I've got a die cut here that I'm going to put along the bottom um, that says chocolate and it's got sticky stuff on the back. So that can be all assembled. Now the interesting bit. The bit that you use for your shaker card is a plastic bag. Now this can be any type of plastic bag doesn't have to be these are uh, card bags that I keep my cards in it doesn't have to be um, that it can just be any clear plastic bag it can't have any writing or printing on it um, but yes it just needs to be um, the size of your aperture so this one is a little bit big as you can see let me just bring this one in it's a little bit big, so what I've done is I've cut the side off to make it a little bit wider than your um, layer. It has to be a little bit wider than your layer. So I've cut the side off, and then, I don't know whether you can see this, but I've folded down an edge here really crisply. Try and be as crisp as you like, as you can to just be inside the layer all right you don't want this going over the side of the layer it can't be any bigger than this this layer hello sue thank you for joining me so eventually that will get stuck down but the step you want to do first is to just take this little bit off now you can see <clears throat> i hope you can see what I've done is I've cut in this little bit here with my scissors and then just <clears throat> where I folded that over and made a crisp crease, I've just cut the inside line, this side line of that um, crease so that you get a lip. Can you see that? I hope you can. So that when that lies down, You'll put a little bit of double-sided tape on there and fold it over and that will be nice and seal nice and, and, and uh, quickly and smartly. <clears throat> Cleanly, that's what I was looking at. You can fold that over. You, you, if you want to, if you feel brave, you, you needn't do that extra step and just fold it over. But what I think might happen 
is that it will come undone here and some of your sequins will go through here and get stuck and that's what I was trying to avoid so to make a nice very firm crease along to cut in and then cut up I think is the best way so um, let's do that now a little bit of double-sided tape And I, what I'm going to aim to do is to put it, <laughs> when I can get hold of it, is to put it all down this side. So I'm putting it on the side I cut, okay? And then, um, where's my, there, I'll take a picture, here we go. So just taking that off there, there we go, and then folding that down, trying to keep it as straight and as clear as what you don't want to um, make are ripples in this. You want it to keep it as flat as you can. Right, so that's one part. Now, let's get that out of the way now. You don't need to see that. The next bit... The next bit is to work out where you want the top. So it, you do exactly the same as we've done for the side. You don't want it this bag, because this is what's going to hold your sequins. You don't want this all the way down here, because you'll lose all your sequins and you'll never have them up in the card. So what we want to do then is just to make a crease again, like we've done before just a little bit further over a little bit further above the um, layer make a real firm crease let's get my pokey tool and my bone folder even <laughs> there we go so I've made a firm crease on there and again I'm going to cut when I can see my scissors, there we go, all hiding underneath the cards. Let's put those aside. There we go. So we're going to cut this. Straight across the top. Like that. In fact, we could come down a bit further because that, that's a little large. I don't want any of this coming down. Just fold it quickly to see yep that'll be fine although we have gone off at a bit of an angle let's see if we can try and um gosh we've got more um more room than i thought right let's do a little bit more then nice firm crease we'll start again <laughs> nice firm crease that's it so that's where we want it to end up that's where we want the closure to be so we want it a little bit further back than that so this one here will be good so we'll take it back to there and then exactly the same as we did now this is the side that i put the sticky on you can see that there's a ridge there where the sticky on so i'm using the same side and that's quite important as well because it keeps everything flat so I'm just cutting up the side and this is exactly what you would have done on the length on the um on the other the other one I showed you and then cutting up on this side because this flap is going to go over here so you want to cut it up on this side when I can find it there we go and because you've made that firm crease you can see where it is so it's quite easy to do there we go and that's cut away and that's where we're going to make the seal of course you don't want to do that yet because if you do your seal now you won't be able to put your your shaker bits in it will you so we have now created a little bag and then here are my little 
shaker bits that I'm going to use. I don't quite know where the blue bits come into having chocolates and coffee, but hey, you know. So I'm going to put a few of those in there. Oops, don't drop it. There we go. So when you when you've got your bag on there, you want to see you want to see some above the um, above the edge there. So that looks good. So we've got quite a few in there. I just wonder whether that's going to be too much. Let's just take a few out. You can't add any more. That's the thing. You can't add any more once it's once you've done it. But there you go. Right, so there's your bits. I've got loads and loads in there. <laughs> it's probably far too many, but never mind. So now you can seal it. So again, with the double-sided tape, making sure you've got it on the right edge. See, this is where I stuck the edge there, and this is where I'm going to stick this in. Turn it round. Just taking off the backing now and just sealing that down. There we go. And try and keep it straight. There's a little bump in that. I don't think it's going to be too bad, but just get it straight with your bone folder. And that's your bag. Now, how simple was that? How absolutely simple was that? So now you want to attach this to here, just double checking that your measurements were right and you've got it right inside your um, square. Now this is the top, this is the one that's going to face, this is the underside and your bag, you want the underside, the bit that you've done all the sticking on facing you. So here we go with the double sided tape again. So strip down here. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. You didn't see that, folks. And another one here. That's it. Another one. Oh, another one here. And another one here. All you're doing with this is sealing the bag. You're not obviously sealing your um, shaker bits in at all. So really, you don't really need all of this double-sided tape. But I do it as a matter of course because um, it just it just makes the whole bag um, set nicely in the on the um, card right so that's all that now double checking that you've got the wrong side of the bag facing you where you've put all your um... oh goodness me double sided tape and creases making sure you've got that uppermost place your bag within the square and obviously placing it so you can't see your folds of the, the the folds that you've done. So there we go. One shaker card. <laughs> it is so easy. Oh, hello, Carol. You're going to have to start from the beginning with this one to, to see what we've done. Because um, it is really, really good. Good fun. And they will never stick. <laughs> so... The next thing to do is to rub out your pencil marks, if I can find me rubber. So rub those out. We don't want to see those. There we go. Now, do we want to colour any of these? Um... I'd like to get a little bit of blue in there because we've got blue on the um, in the so 
So I'm not quite sure whether we do a blue. Should we do a blue? Um, can't find my blue pen now. We'll do a balmy blue. It's not quite the same. I was looking for the um, blueberry bushel. That's it. That's going to be too dark. That might be better. Right, so a little bit of artistic license here. I'm going to have some blue icing. So I'll have a blue top to the um, chocolate here. And um, maybe... Maybe some pink as well. Which one's that one? Oh gosh, that's a bit. It's going to be very pink that one. Um, yeah, let's go for this one. There we go. The little bit of. Um, blushing bride there with a pink top <laughs> and crumb cake I think I've got that one here nope that's Sahara sand this is crumb cake and then we'll have crumb cake at the bottom it's just to bring that blue from the um, sequins in multicolored chocolates <laughs> oh well, never mind Let's have a swirly bit up here as well. We'll have that in crumb cake. And then we'll have pink icing at the bottom. Uh, shall we? Yeah, go on then. Or perhaps we make this one pink. We'll make this one pink. These are right markers I'm using because if you use um, the um, blends, they are alcohol and they will bleed through the card. So, um, yeah, it wouldn't look good. Um, I wonder if we could use the darker one on that one. Yeah, let's bring the coffee in. We don't really want a whole blue chocolate, do we, eh? So let's have a little bit of um, dark chocolate here. There we go. So that's that. And now we need to adhere this to the top. Oh, my lovely colouring. And you can't see it now. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Right. Um, so now we can adhere this with um, dimensionals. So we'll put one in each corner. Yeah, and try, I've just popped that one down, but try and get it up into the corner so it's not actually seen. There we are. I think that'll be enough. I'm putting little ones on the side there, I think. Just to give it a little bit. Stability. And maybe one in the middle. There we go. Lots of dimensionals. There we go. 
Right. Quickest way I've found of um, taking these dimensionals off is with this um, take clip tool. You just stick the um, stick the pokey end in, and then just pull the pull the um, pull the top off. Really easy. Right now, get those out of the way. We've got the centre of the card. Sorry, did I knock that? You're all going to play around for a bit. <laughs> Shimmer. Sorry for knocking the camera. There we go. And that goes down as centrally as you can. And there we go. As I said, a few too many shake, too many um, what's names in there, but it's quite good. And that's the static that's doing that. There's nothing to do with them. Um, there we go. Oh, you can see the chocolates. Oh, that's all right then. Oh, they do quite go, don't they? Yeah, sort of. Right, so now we've got these lovely cups and the words. So the cups can go... I can stick the cups down, so a little bit of blue. We don't have to put any more dimension on because we've got this here so this is just going to be stuck right so where do we want these so we want one here one up here and these can go off because you've got the edge of the card so one there one there and where's my yellow one yellow one in the middle middle for diddle right let's pop the yellow one down first so just on the bottom here because we want it poking up over the top so i just stick it on the bottom When it works, come on. Oh, I've got an idea this might be the empty one then. Yep. Redundant. We'll try again. Third time lucky. There we go. So here goes middle for diddle. Then we'll have the dark one up on the side. And a little bit of a jaunty angle. And then this chap on the other side. And I just might take the glue off the back there. Because I know we've got glue underneath here. I'll put too much on there. I think I might have done the same with that. Nope, nope, there's no glue there. But it will dry as long as you don't squeeze the card. It'll be fine. So that's those two. So today's plan, consume chocolates and then you this is the die cut that comes with dies for this set and what I've done is I've used some double-sided um, sheets of double-sided um, sticky stuff double-sided glue and stuck one side to a piece of um, soft suede card and then the die goes on top of the coloured card. I The first one I did, I did it the other way round. So when you take the this sticky stuff was on the top. And of course, when you've got nowhere to stick the card, <laughs> the word then, have you? <laughs> oh, hello, Elaine. That's nice of you to join me as well. So, um, yeah, so we just peel this off. So one layer is sticking to the card. I can't... Oh, there it is. <laughs> right underneath my nose. So you just peel this off and it leaves um, a layer. On your die cut. So that's now sticky. So I'm just going to... want to get this bit off first as well. Oh, 
there we go that's that bit off and then this will come off all in one hopefully there we go just turn him over and pop that down there we go you've got chocolates in your shaker you've got chocolates in your cup and when that settles down <laughs> There we go. So there's your shaker card. It just couldn't be easier, could it? It really is so simple and a lovely little card. So you can, just to show you that you can create um, all these little cards. And I think that just needs another dimensional there. So I'm just going to pinch one of these little ones. It's kind of sagging a little bit and I forgot to put one in the middle. So let's pop him in there. Which is going to be interesting getting the backing off. Come on. Come on. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's made that a bit more solid. It's not going to bow now. So there we go. So how simple was that? Really, really good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you do give it a try. Um, it's just a, a simple way. The only, the only bit is... Um, faffing about with the plastic but um you know it's well worth it it's just a little bit of trimming and being careful where you stick your double-sided tape um and then um hey presto you've got a shaker card that would never stick <laughs> and it'll go on shaking for ages and ages and ages so there we go so that one we made today and this one I made for today as well. So they're the two that um, from today. And just to remind you from the ones from Friday evening. So we've got a little card here. Today's plan. Consume coffee and chocolate. There's kind of a theme going along here, isn't there? Enjoy the little things. And then you've got a little pocket there with a card that you can put in for cost of coffee. Or, you know, sort of a gift card of any sort. A little piece of ribbon around your card. And then you can have a, it'll just be able for you to put a little pull, pull on there for them. You don't have to do that because you can get your fingers in there and pull it out. But that's just a little um, idea there. And then this one just plainly stamped on the, on the card itself and then a die cut over the top. And then this one, um, very simply done with um, two other die cuts. The front of the card just chopped in half and then a smaller layer and then two pieces and then another one underneath there. Very, very easy to do. Um, before you all disappear, I'd like to mention, um, if you're all still with me, my crafty bags that I've been doing. And these are the Pampered Pets crafty bags. So this is two of the cards that you will get in the kit. All the... Um, base cards and all the elements will be in your kits for you already cut so all you have to do is put it together you would just need some glue um, and if you haven't got any dimensionals I can always pop those in the crafty bag for you as well you'll get all of these elements you'll also get um, instruction videos exclusively for you to show how to put the cards together and this is the DSP that you'll be getting. DSP is just patterned paper. It's double-sided patterned paper. So you can choose which ones you want to use. So these are cats. These are dogs. I've had one out of that one. There's some more cats. And some more cats. And some dogs. So you've got lots. And then you've got these double-sided sheets that are for backgrounds. But, I mean, if you didn't want to use all these cats, you could use these backgrounds as well. 
so you've got those types of backgrounds for those as well so there we go you it's um you'll get um half a sheet of every design so it's like a quarter of a, a pack because they are they come in 12 sheets so if you get half a sheet it's like a quarter of a pack um in with the bags the bags are 15 pounds if i can deliver them to you if you live nearby or 18 pounds if you, i need to post them um and you'll have lots of card bases in there to make other cards and the cards that i've made you'll have loads of paper over um to um make some more you can do them um, exactly the same or on the videos I do give you tips of how to make different ones um, you'll get some embellishments and the ribbon um, to complete the cards as well so if you're interested just message me and um, I'll get those to you okay then thank you very much for um, coming along and joining me today please like and share the video if you have had some fun today and please post your cards if you make any of these. If you've been inspired by what you've seen, please post your picture, your cards on the page. I'd love to see what, um, what you've made, what you've done. So thank you again for joining me. Have a lovely day and a lovely weekend. And I'll catch up with you Monday at 7pm. Bye for now.